All right, Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the brothers enduring afflictions, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice, uh, preaching this word in truth, sincerity, and always sincerity. All right, this is the brother Malaakia. Uh, from the Great Millstone Camp, the branch out here in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, coming at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Harakach Wadash. You know, and through the Spirit, um, this is something that I thought uh, uh, I was kind of meditating on earlier uh, on throughout the week. And the spirit just kind of confirmed it uh, going into how all the apostles kind of briefly touched uh, uh, or mentioned this subject in, uh, in their lessons, you know. And it's about speaking in tongues because you have uh, certain people in the Christian church and the Catholic church uh, that's that, uh, you know, they'll, they'll kind of start. They'll, they'll say that they got the Holy Spirit. They'll start convulsing and they'll start speaking a bunch of gibberish and madness, you know, and, and saying that that's speaking in tongues, that the Lord is, is working through them, that they're speaking the holy language. When according to the scriptures that we understand that the holy language is, is the Hebrew, man, the, the Lashawan Kodash, the holy tongue. Right. But uh, I'm going to grab this real quick. And then if uh, can you hold uh, uh, the, the Lord speaking to, uh, to Saul? I can. Yep. Yep. Okay. Right. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 10. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and, and 6, it says, And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same power which worketh in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For one is given by the Spirit of word, for one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another gifts of healing by the same spirit right so different brothers have different uh certain different blessings and certain different uh, uh um talents if you will that the lord has given right it says uh to another working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another diverse kinds of tongues and to another the interpretation of tongues right so there's certain brothers that it says what uh, diverse kinds of tongues right and, and when i'm pretty sure you can go into this word tongues here g 1100 glossa it says by implication a language especially one unacquired uh the right long definition the tongue a member of the body or organ of speech the language or dialect by a particular people distinct from that of other nations right so it, it's simply another language you know it, uh, 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 of of a different um uh nation right uh, 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 a different language that that somebody might not understand you know and you you got that uh, um an axe this is x <clears throat> 26 I'll start at 13. At midday, O king, I saw on the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining around about me and then and them which should join with me. 14. And we were all falling to the earth. I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue. Right, in the Hebrew tongue. The the Hebrew tongue or, or, or yeah, right, the Hebrew tongue, speaking in tongues. You know, the Hebrew language, another word for, for, for tongue language. Right. It says, Saul, Saul, why persecutest me thou? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Yahawashai, whom thou persecutest. Right, and, and that's the point, man. That what, hey, that, that Yahawashai was in the heavens, that he came down to Saul and says, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Right, but what? The, the point is that he said this in the Hebrew tongue, you know? He didn't come down to Saul, nah, man. You know, he, he spake in a Hebrew tongue. He spake in a, uh, in tongues, man. You know, uh, what, what's going back to that, you know, that, that just touching on, on proving the point that what? That, that the holy tongue, right? The, the tongue that, that is spoken in the heavens, the language spoken in the heavens is the Hebrew, man. You know, hey, the, the, the Lord, when he gave the commandments to Moses, hey, it, it, it was in the Hebrew, man. Rosh Hashanah Kadash was the uh, holy language, man. Right, so... Uh, uh let's go into uh you know pr further proven that speaking in tongues is, is just another language right um diverse damn damn i'm spelling it wrong <laughs> 
try to look for? Uh, diverse tongues when the apostles were, uh, the Holy Spirit came onto them. Yeah, that's an X. I just don't know exactly where. Salakia, bear with me, Akim. Acts, the second chapter. Uh, Con. This is Acts chapter 2. And I'll just start at verse 1. It says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Right? They began to speak with other tongues. So this church, the that, church thinks, it's like, the church thinks that with that, you know, you can just speak gibberish. <laughs> That's, uh, what is it? What is it? Um, what, what is the um, Hebrew, word, uh, Hebrew uh, so-called Hebrew language what they speak today? It's like, what is it? Gibberish? It's like a German, a Slavic, a Slavic and something else. You know, that's, that's madness, man. You know, Lashuan Kadash is pure language, man. It's holy. How are you going to mix two languages and make one and make it holy, man? That's confusion. Go ahead. Cut. You know, and, and just, just going into this, hey, it's the same word, you know? And and it's madness that, that, that they believe that because <laughs> this chapter breaks itself down, man. You know, hey, hey, as as the brother Matati always says, hey, read up, read, read down. down. You know, it says, uh, verse five, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it says, now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together, and they were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Damn. Right. So there were certain Jews uh, out of different different nations. Right. Uh, from Greece, from from so on and so forth, man. You know, that that were able to speak these other languages. They were able to speak Greek, uh, you, you know, able to speak uh, 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 a hey, whatever other dialect and languages they, they, they had uh, going on back then, you know. And it says that what that, that, that they heard the apostles speak in their own language. It says, and they were all amazed and marveled, saying to another, behold. Are these not which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue where we were born? Parthenians and Medes and Elamites, the dwellers in Mesopotamia and Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, uh, uh, Fir Phrygia and Pamphylia in Egypt and the parts of Libya around Cyrene and the strangers of Rome, Druze and proselytes. It says, uh, Cretus and Arabians, how do we hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of Yahweh, uh, of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai? And they were all amazed and were doubt, uh, saying one to another, what meaning this? You know? Hey, but, but, but that's the point, man. That's the point is, is that the tongues that they were speaking in were these other languages, you know, and, and for you churches to, to be uh, 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 speaking uh, in other tongues. Hey, the, hey, the scriptures clearly says that if a man speaking, uh, go, uh, go ahead. First Corinthians uh, 14 and um, I start right to the point. It says 27. And if any man speak in a known language, a known tongue. Salakia. First Corinthians 14 and 27, you said. Come on, go ahead. If any man speak in an unknown, unknown tongue, let it be by two, or at the most by three, and that by co and that by course, and let one interpret. Right. So, so hey, if if somebody's speaking tongues, what? Well, hey, hey, let somebody be there to uh, start at a. Just start at 24, Bible Kusha. 1 Corinthians 14 and 24. But if all prophesy, there come in one that believe not. And one unlearned, he is convinced of all. He is judged of all. And this are the secrets of his heart made manifest. And so falling down on his face, he will worship the Most High. And report to the mo uh, that the Most High is, is in you of a truth. Right. How is it then, brethren... When ye come together, every one of you have a psalm, has a doctrine, has a tongue, 
has a revelation, has an interpretation. Let all things be done unto the edifying. Hey, let all these things be done unto edifying. So what? What damn edification are you getting out of? What 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 kind of fuck? Hey, what kind of fucking edification is that, man? You stupid, man. All right, you 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 saying oh the Lord is speaking through me? I'm prophesying, right? All right, but but what? Hey, the the Lord gave the understanding, man. Hey, the Lord said, make it plain upon tables that 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 a uh, man may run that readeth it. You know, it says that the Lord is not the author of confusion. Right, it says it's right down here too. And if you if you go down there, it's thirty three. It says they're not the author of confusion, but we can get on. Hey, that, that's the spirit, you know. It can, you know. Yeah, yeah. Keep Bible question. First Corinthians fourteen and twenty seven. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two or at most by three, and that by course, and let one interpret. Right, and and hey, even even with camp man, we're, we're speaking. What hey, we go out, we speak English. If, if you know me and this brother personally, hey, if there's an Issacharite or or a, a Northern, Northern Kingdom brother. Hey, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of conform to their language, you know, even certain slang that, that they might use or, or so on and so forth, you know, hey, so, so that they can understand the message because we, we, we make it we make it as simple as possible, man. You know, the simplicity that's in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. And, and, and that's the point, man. It's not I'm, I'm going to tell you something, uh, you know, I'm not going to see somebody that's never heard Hebrew in their life. And I'm going to tell them something uh, in the Hebrew tongue and just send them off, you know, <laughs> You know, uh, if you're telling them about the works of the Lord, if you're telling them hey, about salvation, hey, you need to make it uh, uh, understandable to them, man. You know, you, you got to break these things down. It's, it says, speak, uh, uh, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob, their sins. Roughly paraphrasing. Well, how are you going to do that? You know, how are you going to speak to them uh, about the things of the Lord uh, 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 if they're not understanding what you're saying, man? You know, but can First Corinthians 14 and 28 It says But if there be no interpreter Let him keep silence in the church uh, Salaki 27 again, Baba Kusha 27 If any man speak an unknown tongue Let it be by two Or at most by three And that by course right, And by let course. one And let one um, Let one interpret Right, so there has to be an interpreter there To give the understanding of what's being said Go ahead But if there be no interpreter If there's not an interpreter let him keep silence in the church. Hey, be quiet. <laughs> you know, and, and I've never seen somebody interpret what the hell, the, the, the bullshit that comes out of these people's mouth, man. You know, they're just out there spewing, spewing a bunch of madness and confusion, man. You know, and, 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 and hey, that goes into the other topic that we were talking about, that these people trust in men. You know, they hear that, they believe, oh, yeah, the, the Lord is dealing with them. Hey, no, nah, man, you know. But go ahead. It says, and let him speak to himself and into the most high. It says, um, I should I just skip down to 33 years? Yeah, you could just go down to 33. And this, cool. just backing up to brother, what he said earlier, it says, uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 33, for the most high is not an author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. Right? So that's the point, man. You know, he said there's no, like, that blabbering thing, whatever they got to say, you can't interpret that, man. You can't understand what these guys are saying because they're going off their own heart, man. They say what they want to say. It's it's what is it? It's throw up, man. You know, it's, it's who's gonna who's gonna like want to pick up throw up? Nobody, man. It's of no profit. Correct, and, and, and what the what the fuck? What, what is what is the Lord gonna have you out there? like? What what use is, uh, uh, is that towards the Lord, man? Going out speaking all that madness, you know. But but besides uh, uh, creating confusion and stumbling blocks, man. You know, hey, you 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 think the Lord, <laughs> you think the Lord sent sent out a, uh, 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 you know the, the the disciples. All right, go go out, and then the disciples just and everybody's like, oh yeah, the Lord, yeah, the Lord must be dealing with these guys. That never happened. That's not what it said. It's hey, it said that it, that, that that they heard their own their own tongues, man. You know. But Khan, you know, hey, so so with that, you know, Lord willing, we hope that this was edifying. We give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone out in New York. Until next time, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom.